What's up guys, Gilbert here with another Tileset 2.0 tutorial on the new relation system and a nice tip on the map editor. The blob creation process has been revamped in such a way that it's a lot more intuitive and faster than ever before. Let me show you the process of creating a 47 Tileset blob using the newly refined way. First, select your center tile, right click on it and choose build border. Choose the blob option. This will generate the entire tile set skeleton for us to modify. Now go ahead and choose the top center tile. Right after that, you go into composition, then click on the pencil icon to finally go into the image source and click on the bottom icon, which pastes your image from the clipboard. Once that is done, the entire tile set will be updated like so. We will modify this a bit further. But before doing so, let's just go right ahead and test our newly created gorgeous tile set. Hit B on your keyboard to access the auto tiling brush and brush your worries away. That's all folks, no more setting up needed. It's just that simple. Now let's go back to making some more changes to our tile set since it's looking a little bit repetitive. Let's go ahead and choose the bottom center tile. Now right on the composition tab, click on the source menu and choose the plus sign in order to add a new, a new resource. In this new version, the resource menu is a lot bigger and easier to use since it doesn't generate a bunch of new tiles and you can actually scroll up and down using the scroll bar. Now we just need to repeat the previous process of clicking the pencil tool and going into the image source tab to paste the image from our clipboard. And ta-da, we got our tile set updated quickly. Pretty neat, right? But wait, there's more! Let's go ahead and generate a Wong tile set. For, for this example, we'll be using these three images. You can choose many more than just a row of three. You can choose six and nine. You get my drift. The sky is the limit. Or your RAM. Just be warned, performance will take a big hit due to the generation of so many new tiles. So go ahead and right click and choose Wong. And bam, just like that, we have a newly created Wong tile set. Isn't that awesome? That's pretty good. Now, let's go right ahead and test this out in the map editor. All right, as you were able to see, Wong tiles have auto tiling based on their border relationship. One more thing I forgot to mention was that you can also copy tiles from the map editor by holding control and left clicking on any tiles. This is pretty useful when you want to save time and don't want to have to be going up and down choosing from the upper main grid. I'm pretty sure you looked at this portion of the screen and wondered, What's going on here? Why does this portion keep on changing every time I click on a different tile? Well, this right here is the relationship tab. Every time you click on a tile, this will tell you which other tiles interact with this selected tile. It is also a great way of telling up what portion of the tile set you're on without looking all the way to the left. This also applies for one tile sets. All right, folks, this is it for this video. It was quite a challenge, but also fairly fun. I am very hopeful for the future of Tilesetter, as it has shown from the beginning of its release to be a force to be reckoned with when it comes to optimizing the tile creation workflow. I can't wait to keep trying this out and all the future new features on that sweet, sweet roadmap. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Share with others and make sure to leave this video a like. It's been my pleasure to put this together. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take good care of yourself.